Welcome to Foodwebs Australian Woodlands version 4, a highly interactive simulation which investigates food web interactions in a classic Australian environment, then proceeds to model those interactions over 25 years. After clicking through the title screen and pressing OK on the license screen, on first entering the program we are presented with the new food web dialog. This can be accessed at any time from the file menu or the flask icon at the bottom left. Select organisms you would like to start your food chain or web with. You have access to the information panel at this time, so it's easy to check the prey and predators of any organism. We'll select a few organisms to start our web, a dingo, bandicoot, and of course plants. Click OK. Once displayed, the organisms can be easily dragged around the screen. To start constructing our chain or web, first select a prey organism by clicking on it. Since energy in the form of food always goes from prey to predator, so must our links. Next, select the predator. Incorrect links are normally shown in red. To remove any link or organism, select it, press the delete key. We now have a complete food chain. Let's add some more organisms using the organism panel to the right. We'll add antichinus, insects, wallaby and wren. The first thing you might notice is that the insects are grouped and have their own food web. Create a food web by linking in these new organisms. Note the displays at the bottom of the screen indicating information about your web and total score. From this we can see that we have one unused link. We could use the information panel to check each organism is easy since all you have to do is hover over it to view the information. Or we can view the report in the options menu which will supply incorrect and unused links. This report is not available while print only mode is set by the teacher. This is for testing. We will just add the final link in. Now we have a complete food web. We can use the modeling section to see how well we did. The goal is to produce a food web or chain which all organisms survive for 25 years under normal environmental conditions. If all the organisms don't last 25 years, then you need to change your web to ensure an organism can obtain food enough food. To select a model from the bottom of the screen, we can see a blank Log10 graph and model panel. Log10 is the default format since it allows both small and very large numbers to be displayed at the same time. Let's see if our food web is a good one. From the model panel, select remaining to model our web for the full 25 years. You can stop the model at any time by selecting any model button. Here the next year and season are displayed together with the environmental conditions. The model section of the simulation is very powerful and models your web and not some theoretical one. You can even change your web at any time during the modeling to simulate the introduction or removal of any organism. We'll just return to the construction screen using the web button at the bottom and introduce a kangaroo into this web. Turn to the model and continue modelling. You can see as we hover over the graph, line helps us compare graphs and the environmental data. Some of the other panels which include environmental panel where rainfall, farming options, fire options and migration can be controlled. Start number panel where the actual start numbers of any organisms can be altered. Graph panel which enables us to view only selected organisms. Finally, graph type panel where you can select various graph types including biomass pyramid. Visit our website for more information to trial this and other programs. Ubyte.com